Let's simplify the fraction 24 sixtieths, and we'll show you two ways to do that. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to find another fraction that's equivalent, has the same value as 24 over 60, just that we've simplified it down to its lowest form. To do that, we need to find a common factor for both 24 and 60. So these are the factors for 24 and 60. As I look for the greatest common factor, it looks like the greatest number that's common between these two sets here is 12. So we could divide 24 by 12 and 60 by 12, and we'll have simplified 24 over 60. Let's move this over here. So 24 divided by 12, that's 2. And then 60 divided by 12, that's 5. So we've simplified the fraction 24 sixtieths down to 2 fifths, and we can't reduce this any further. So the other way we could do this, and we'll get the same answer, but we could just cut this in half, divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. And that'll give us 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 60 divided by 2 is 30. Then it might be easier to see that 6 goes into 12 2 times, and 6 goes into 30 5 times. So we get 2 fifths again, just this little intermediary step. That might help you out if you don't know that 12 goes evenly into 60. These are equivalent fractions. If you divide 24 by 60, 12 by 30, 2 by 5, you'll get the same answer. It's just that we've simplified or reduced 24 sixtieths down to 2 fifths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.